You remember, listen, even, even Job, remember the story of Job? When you get around, I think, chapter 38 or something like that. Uh, Job asking God all those questions, then, then God stops and says, hold up, time up, Job. You're asking all these questions? Let me ask a question. Who laid the foundations of the world? And then God goes on and asks Job a whole series of questions. And in those questions, Job come to realize that all those questions, all those doubts, all those uncertainties, all those fears, all the things he was asking God, that God is his redeemer. You see, God will ask us questions to help us understand who and what he is. You, 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 do you realize that, that, that there's nothing wrong with asking questions? There's nothing wrong with asking God questions? And the Bible is replete with examples of God asking us questions. So if God asks us questions, and Jesus is the Son of God uh, uh, incarnate here on earth, then don't you think Jesus is going to ask questions? Remember I told you Jesus asked over 300 questions in those four Gospels? And most of the time, when someone asks Jesus something, he asks them a question back. Pay attention to it. Most of the time, when someone asks Jesus a question, he asks them a question back. So God is a God who wants us to ask questions. Because the more we ask questions, the closer we get to him. The more we ask questions, the more we come to know him. Because what happens is that logic, mathematics, history, and English will never answer the complete question for you. It's always going to get back to God. And no matter who you go to and ask the question, eventually it's going to get back to God. And that's why God don't mind us asking questions. Because I used to be flipping out, man, how Job could be asking God all these questions? And God just let him go on. And then God asked him. And he says something to the fact, uh, Job 38 and 2, look, all this darkness around you, Job. Let me, let, me, let me share some light. I'm paraphrasing it. Let me share some light. Let me start asking you some questions. And if Job, if I laid the foundations of the universe, if I created all of this, then don't I know what's going on with you? And maybe, I be, maybe I'm using you as an example for eons to come when people go through trials and tribulations, when the circumstances of life impact them and they don't know why things just happen. They'll come to realize that maybe they're a vessel that I'm using because they're not aware of what's going on in heaven. You remember that story, don't you? Remember when God called all the angels to heaven to give them a report? Y'all remember that story, don't you? Who came? Satan. Yeah. And God asked him, hey, man, what you been doing? Going to and fro, seeking who I, can, who I can devour. So Job ain't know what was going on in heaven. Ain't no clue. So God said, have you tested my good and faithful servant, Job? You see, there are going to be things that are happening in heaven that you and I don't understand. And God don't mind us asking him questions about it. And that's why questions are so important, because God is a God of never enough. There's never enough that God can do for you and I when we are in step with his will and plan for us. We want to thank you for being with us today. If this message has been a blessing to you and your family, we encourage you to make a donation to keep this broadcast on air. You can make your donations by going to BethesdaApostolicHouseOfPrayer.com on our secure website or Give the Fly app where you can make your donation to keep this broadcast on the air. Please remember, your tithes go to the local church, but your offerings and go to where you're being fed. And as we continue on our journey, remember this. 2 Corinthians 
5 and 7 tells us that we walk by faith, not by sight. This is Lady Gwen Jones, and we would like to thank you for watching Bethesda House of Prayer TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bethesda House of Prayer TV and follow us on Facebook at Bethesda House of Prayer. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you.